This crash happened about half past nine this morning. The Formula One team, Mauricia Cosworth, is supposed to be having two days of testing here at Duxford. Now, it's understood one of the drivers had been out on a run. She'd been up to one end of the runway and come back again, reaching speeds of about 150 to 200 miles an hour. As she returned, she was slowing down. Engineers were coming out to have a look at her car, but all of a sudden, the car suddenly accelerated and crashed into a lorry tail lift at about 40 miles an hour. It was actually the truck that had brought the car there and uh, her helmet impacted on the side of the truck. We could see it quite clearly. The car was doing 30 or 40 miles an hour. It was, it was very shocking, very sudden. Everybody was utterly stunned by what had happened. It's understood the driver is Mauricia de Villotta. She's Spanish. She's one of only two female test drivers in the Formula One industry. And she's the daughter of the 1980s Formula One driver, Emilio de Villotta. It's been confirmed that she's been taken to Addenbrooke's hospital with life-threatening facial and head injuries. It took them quite some time to remove her off the site here this morning. It was well over an hour before she got taken to hospital. It's been confirmed she was taken to Addenbrooke's at about 20 past 10 this morning. Now an investigation is well underway here to try and establish exactly what caused this accident and what caused her car to suddenly accelerate and then crash. Felicity Simper, BBC Look East, Duxford.